Uh, Alec uh, has this awesome pen series. It's not mine, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. he learned it from his professor who is a, or sensei, who is an uh, is coach, whatever. Uh, Frank is a seventh degree in Coral. judo. Yeah, yeah, in judo. Yeah. And so, and he's also a black belt in jiu-jitsu. And Japanese jujitsu though, so watch out. Uh, <laughs> he'll break your shit before he throws. Yeah. He's also a master sport in sambo. Um, and like, yeah, definitely did some of those first BJJ. And he wrestled at Bucknell. Yes, he wrestled from uh, fourth grade through college. And, uh, and then the other, I guess, you know, as far as your channel goes, he, uh, he was in all those like initial California tournaments in the late 80s and early 90s, BJJ style. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, and, and they have this really awesome uh, series that they teach, yeah. um, starting from white belt. And so in judo, if you don't move quickly, you can pin people, right? But as soon as they get guard back, right? So you yeah. have to respect the frames. So they have this really awesome series of, you know, when the guy gets the frames, you switch the pin. And right. I think it's great for jujitsu. Uh, for jiu -jitsu. So yeah. he's going to run us through that now. Yeah, so this one is the, like, the Japanese term is Kazuri Kesa Katame, which is just modified Kesa or broken Kesa Katame. It's like a double, it's like an underhook with an elbow pin in wrestling. That's all it is. You wouldn't do this in wrestling, but, uh, you know. Not unless you did a hip toss. Yeah, not unless you, yeah, you would never land in this position on a good guy. But, uh, yeah, so like Joe said, we teach it to the beginners so that they respect the frames and hand positioning and to also learn, like, when it doesn't matter what you do with your hands, you're pinned. Right. Right, because I feel like a lot of uh, guys that train these days, they don't understand when they're pinned, maybe. Because I do a Kazuri case. When I drop in at a BJJ school, that's the first pin I do to people is Kazuri to see what they do. Uh-huh. And I usually can sit there for five minutes. Yeah, right. Right? Yeah, I mean, it sucks. Because, like, it and, and this is no disrespect, they're doing the wrong escape series for that pin. Right. They're going to cross face and frame and catch me with their legs, but you do that for regular cases, head not, and arm. Not Kazuri. So that's what I'm looking for. I do Kazuri, and they frame wrong, and then I get the armbar. So let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so he's going to walk us through all this. It's really, it's really awesome. And you've really only done this, what, three times? Yeah, it's Something like that. So he'll so. have to walk me through it. It might not be pretty, but you'll get the idea. So we want the right angle. What's the best angle you think for the cameras? Because we'll have to We might be able to run as we go. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like we'll just have to make sure yeah. we see all So that. I think the first one, your head facing that way, my head facing the camera probably okay. there. So yeah. So instead of Kesa Gatame, we're doing modified Kesa. So right? this is Kazuri. This is Kazuri. I have the underhook. Um I still have elbow control because right, because if you if that touches the mat, right. you're gone. Out. You're yeah. gone. Yeah, you're gone. So uh, the finish for it, right, like if we want to win by pin, it's like Joe was doing in his last video, wedge right here. You can't get that on the mat. You can't pull that elbow down. Keep my underhook. My head goes down to the leg, and I drive up. That's hopefully maybe 10 seconds in judo I win. But uh, so the first, we don't have geese on, but like the beginner, beginner one we teach is he grabs this near collar, and he, he's not like punching or anything like that. He's just going to lock his elbow out. He's going to shrimp his butt out. And then he's going to sit up and take the same pin on me. I'm stupid, but if the guy doesn't counter it, it works every time. And that's one of our first drills for kids to pin is just Kazuri back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So if I'm in this uh, Kazuri case Gatame and I feel Joe go there, I go, ah, uh, okay, he knows. I cup his head. Too bad Dom's not here because this works on Dom, right? <laughs> like if I cup Dom's head, now Joe, you're a strong guy. Go ahead. Get up. Yeah, it's great. I can't even shrimp. <laughs> crown of his head nose to his belly button it takes his spine all out of alignment so he cannot sit up is there other stuff he can do yeah but I like can't even uh, get my hips to the side though that's really weird well yeah it messes up your spine yeah <laughs> <laughs> and is it a neck crank maybe right like if i'm a, if i if i go and do this right or something but really i just need it doesn't have to be hard right it's just stopping you from sitting up right, right. and so now uh the next counter for the bottom guy is this this frame switches it goes in frames on my armpit you can two on one it and then you just use that to peel your head that hand off your head right so now joe can shrimp away do whatever he wants yep and so when i feel this frame change okay he knows the next move so now i switch to like old man side control elbow 
trying to touch the knee on the other side, elbow trying to touch the knee on the other yeah, side. Wed he's wedging this Yeah, too. this old man, chest low, right? Like I'm not, no, no cross face, even though that's not a cross face, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> nah. So yeah, right here, right? And then Joe, if he's a good player, he's gonna get his frames and he's gonna pull guard, right? Like he's gonna shrimp out and yeah, he's gonna go close guard, open guard, half guard, whatever. So when I feel that, what I'm gonna do, and we can turn maybe like a three quarter, yeah, like maybe right there. So I feel Joe make space, right? I need to do the right thing. And as he makes space and moves his butt over this way, I can either block like this, but for the purposes of the, the drill for the beginners, we make a fist, you know, cause that's easy for kids to remember, punch the ground. Right. And, and now he can't pull guard. And yeah, and then I can switch the pin, go north, south. So you would go north, south. I would go um, north, south. And unless so, you do the right thing, which is change your frames. Yeah, so now I'm like, oh, sorry. Yeah, no, you're good. Baseball bat. Right? Yep. Belly out. Now, and then drag. arm drag, take, take the bat. That. Correct. Which, it works so well. It's ridiculous how well that works. Yeah, and you're saying you've been using. I've been using that all the time since they showed it to me. Yeah. Because when people try to go to north south and they put their they put their hand there yeah they don't block right his arm from coming yeah across. so that's what you do right you put your head there. yeah so uh, as soon as he feels me as go soon through. as i feel the baseball bat grip or the two-on-one grip whatever you want to call it even that first one that's my cue he's gonna arm drag me or he i mean he doesn't even have to do the drag he can just belly down and scoot away off camera but the the idea here is that as soon as i feel that when i transition to north south from this old man side control is i cannot let this come up right and swim inside or swim over, right? I have, yeah, that's what I, I need to stop that two on one because wrestling, like one, yeah. one on one's okay, two on one's a lot better. Yeah. Right? So I feel that his hand needs to come right here, right? Now I can't get it. Yep. And ideally, it's actually before it even happens, like here. Now there's, it's not coming across. My head's down. And now I can go to north south and choke me. Yep. Now I switch to north south, uh, the old man version again, double overs. Then what Joe's going to do, let's uh, maybe turn your butt this way, Joe, right here. So then now this is for like, you know, the highlight reel, but it's also fun <laughs> for the kids to do, to do a back roll, back shoulder roll, because that's a fundamental they need. Yeah. So instead of doing the pulling, kipping, you know, the kipping guard, which is tough. Yeah. So you, you pull this arm out, right? You can. Yeah. But you, really what it is, is you want your head out, right? You yeah, need your head out. on the outside of the hip and then, and then you're going to back shoulder roll. <laughs> Yeah, and, and then, then what happens is you end up here. Yes, sir. And you can come around, like if you're in the gi. Yep, collar right there. You grab the collar yeah. here, and you've got this unbelievably powerful break. <laughs> it's so nasty. It's, uh, that's, that's old school judo, man. That's, that is the nastiest break. Are you going to get it like on someone who knows what they're doing? Probably not, but like the kids and like the guys that have a lot of loose arms. Yeah, you're going to. It's worth getting your head out and trying to back roll because it's easier yeah. than the flop, flop, kipping escape that we're all Yeah, the, the kipping is great, believe me. Like if he's holding you in a good north-south, no gi style, that kipping is... And then what's the next one then? So. Oh yeah, so then... Um, so now, uh, if I, when you feel so me yeah, go to so, here. Yep, so I feel his head pop out. That's my cue to go to reverse Kazuri Kesa, right? So reverse Kesa would be around Joe's head. And there's all sorts of awful things like neck cranks and twisting arm bars here. But I want to do reverse Kazuri or reverse modify cases. So I'm in here, right? And once again, the, the pin is, you know, I need to be up under Joe's shoulder, right? Oh, right? And then, yeah, I have, I have arm bars here, you know, that way. Dude, that's almost choking me out. Right, yeah, because this arm. You're like, like putting me to sleep. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm on, I'm on, I, I should be turning your head that way, right? Cause, wow. Because then the other thing I do when you're looking that way is I bring this up high, right? And then the other thing I'm going to do if I'm super old school is I'm going oh. <laughs> to do that for the camera. That's not part of the you're, usual pin they, series. They that. Holy crap. Uh, yeah, yeah. Wait, so which way would I have? Uh, if I'm, if I'm doing... Pop over this yeah, way. yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Okay, so Man, like when Joe lat, loves all my dirty wrestling. Yeah, when your lat is on me here, yeah, like, it was making me start to see red. Yeah, he because he's wedged up under here so good. Joe's neck is right here, so if I if I put my ribs or my lat into him, I can just lean into him, make his life real tough. Oh, right now, what I don't want to do for this reverse position is let Joe have a He's gonna he's gonna cross face the shit out of me that way, and then he's gonna high step over. And that's actually his first escape, actually, right? Yeah, because so, don't go this way. Doesn't no, work. that puts the choke and the arm bars on even this better. this way, right? Yep, and let's turn so they can see. Yeah, so you he, has, he has to collect that, right? Because when he pulls that 
it weakens my pin. And show, now, the, show that break though real quick that you just did to me. Oh, that, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> that was horrible. Yeah, this is a ADHD pin series. So, all right, so, <laughs> all right, so yeah. I'm on the good side of the arm for me, bad side of the arm for him. I bring this up high to his head, right? And I can do all sorts of mean things. And if I don't get this arm bar and I want to transition to side control here, like an old school wrestling, uh, there's a, my coach calls it something in uh, Japanese. Uh, I forget what it is. I don't want to say it wrong to insult him. So I'll just, it's like a, it's just a head and arm in wrestling, isn't it? Like a, it's like a tricep pin or, a, yeah, yeah. So here, what I do is as I go, as I roll my chest into Joe, my knee is still blocking his hip, right? This can come over and block his hip. I'm wrapping, I'm overhooking his arm. It's like a head and arm triangle setup, right? Like I'm bringing the arm across this side of his neck and then going under his head. And I have this, yeah, this neck crank slash. Oh, you okay? Like, Sorry. Yeah, no, it's just like, it's like, it's so tight because your lat was so there. Yeah, that like yeah. all of this just were like, yeah, like, golly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. not in the, that's like a bonus. Uh, that is definitely a nice bonus. Okay, you, you, so. There's so, a lot of catch wrestlers that show that, but. So the, the trick is, I, I don't want to go this way. I no, go this way. when they do that, that's completely wrong. I go this way you should not, step over. Correct, yep. Right, go here. Boom, and then you're in top side, correct. Now I'm in top side. Yep. And then, let's move this way down. Yep. Yep. And then you show uh, from there, um, you, now if I... Oh, no, you're still down, you're still that. down. Okay. Yep, you're still down. So, <laughs> so to prevent that from happening. Yep, uh, arm in front. So he's, he's a good wrestler. He doesn't want me in that position. He's, he's, <laughs> he's taking the tight waist. So uh, here, right? Uh, I step over. Before he does that even, I can be real lazy and I can just, you know, especially if he starts to run or whatever. Or maybe he starts to run my way and I, I play fishy with my foot. Keep coming, keep coming, watch. Like chase my leg, because you want to step over that leg. Yeah. And there's that same wrap. Oh, right? And now I'm so bad. Now I'm over the arm. <clears throat> okay? Dude, if you squeeze from here. <laughs> well, this, is, this, is, this isn't traditional, right? I should be under here. Yeah, but but I'm, I'm little and mean, so I do this. Uh, and then I do the neck crank, but anyway. Uh, so, but let's say I do it the nice, the traditional way. Joe does the basic escape. He straightens his arm. Oh yeah, this one. And as soon as I feel that straightening, let's turn this way. As soon as I feel that straightening, it's time, you know, he's changing his hands. He's changing his frames. I change the pin. That's the whole idea between these, uh, or about these series. I feel, okay, he's going to peel my head and arm. That's my cue. Once again, don't do it sloppy. I don't just drag my knee over. Windshield wiper it over come over he's pulling his arm and then we we start now we're in regular quesa so we started in modified quesa and we end up in quesa and now there's a whole new series to do based on his frames from quesa nice that was awesome yeah so they have multiple of these right so now you end up in quesa and there's a whole other series yeah you have to keep like so it works well for jujitsu because yeah. You have to change the pin when he gets the right frames. If you don't respect yeah. it, he'll get his guard back. Yeah. Right. And then like, and at least in jujitsu, it keeps going. In judo, yeah. they say mate, it's over. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're, yeah. Low level, regional. I don't want to say low level, but like regional, even in American higher level judo, the refs just don't. Sometimes maybe they don't know a lot of uh, groundwork, but they just want to stand back up. It's just like UFC. They don't want to see all that. They yeah. want you to stand up and. Yeah, a lot Throw of people, or like, punch. freestyle wrestling too. If nothing's happening, stand them back up. Hey man, uh, people in the stands. Yeah. People, uh, you know, that, spectator that, sport. The spectator sport, so make it more spectator friendly. Um, but yeah, I like, I like this series. Um, like I said, when I drop in somewhere new and I'm the foreigner, uh, I just want to see, like, do these, do these guys do pins, right? Because that, that's just how I was taught. Uh, well, I wrestled briefly. Uh, but then when I, you know, started doing judo in 2008, I think it was, is when I first put, hated the jacket, by the way, <laughs> terrible. But yeah, that's how, this was the very first thing I learned. I didn't learn any arm bars, throws, I didn't learn any chokes or strangles, none of that. It was, you need to learn these pins because, you know, Frank is a wrestler and he's like, you're not gonna know a lot of these pins because you don't do them in scholastic American wrestling. Right, yeah. So, uh, that is the very first thing I learned as a white belt was this modified case of pin series. And there's a lot of submissions we skipped over and a lot of different escapes you could have done. 
but it's like again it's just like a it's a learning tool right so we'll have more of these actually he has a whole other thing from uh case too and then regular case he just showed the regular case of finishes from there which was a really nice bonus so all oh, the arm bars yeah, yeah 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 thanks uh thanks for watching all right yeah like and subscribe thank you alec yeah man uh, no problem over from cat paul and uh if you want his contact information uh to train at cat paul ask this know. guy yeah <laughs> all right thanks for watching all right